What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 45 minute cardio and abs boot camp. No equipment needed, so grab some space on your mat and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited to have you here today for our 40 minute cardio and abs boot camp. Like I mentioned in the intro, you don't need any equipment today. We're just gonna be moving 60 second intervals, two exercises at a time. So we'll have a cardio move, and an ab move, and just make sure you have some water and a sweat towel, and we're ready to get started, okay? Before you head out today, make sure you have subscribed to the channel if you're using the workouts. That's the biggest way to say thank you, and just to keep rocking so this community gets stronger and stronger together. So, quick second, right before you head out today, just click subscribe right below the video, and give me a thumbs up if you are ready. I appreciate that so much. All right, hands on your hips. We're gonna go slow down into a nice wide plie squat in three, two, one, let's go. Push the butt back and down and stand nice and slow. Just want you to kind of get into this, letting your hips open up, your inner thighs stretch out if you want to put your hands on your knees and kind of wiggle a little bit. There you go, good. This can be one of those workouts where you take it with you when you travel, where you're not feeling like using dumbbells, but you want a good sweat, a good ab burn. One more and we stay down at the bottom. Good, stay here, let's go side to side, just shifting your hips. There we go, all right, hands down, toes point forward, let's lift your hips up, and then reach to the ground, and then drive right back up. Beautiful. Have a little bit of a fun ending at the end, so if you guys remember the Simon says, Sydney says kind of thing. We'll do that with some plank work at the end. Just to close it out, having fun and working on stabilization. All right, bring it in, heels to glutes. Nice long warm up, nice long cool down. To make sure you get into this feeling good and warm and then we help you leave feeling just as good. Maybe a little more sweaty, but just as good. Three, two, arms out to the side. One, let's turn, turn. Good, rotating your core. So you've got rotation and anti-rotation as you kind of stop it from going all the way around, right? Let's activate all of your core muscles here. Good, hands up top here, twist, twist. Good. Good, three more, three. Two, one, all right, come on back to the back of your mat. You're gonna step, high kick. Let's go four of these. Four, three, two, and one. Good, inchworm it out, or you can just pop it out to a plank, however you wanna get there. Okay, draw your core in. Let's drop the hips down, look up, and then push it back up to a pike. Three more of those. Down, look up. Pull the abs in, and we pike. Two more. Last one, drop it down. There you go, walk back to your toes nice and slow as you drive your heels down to the floor. There you go, roll it up nice and slow, great job. First move, we're gonna do high knees, five and freeze. Looks like this, five, four, three, two, one. And then you go again, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Five, four, three, two, freeze. And you just go at your own pace. Working on stabilization here. Five, four, three, two, freeze. Good. Wait till you get done getting your balance here before you go again. So make sure it's not here and you go again. Freeze, hold, go. Good, last 30, right here. That's it. Pull your core in on the balance. 13 seconds, good work. Eight, seven, three, two, one, 
Come on down to your mat. Your second exercise is core for your boot camp. All right, we're gonna go single leg drop in a crunched position. You stay crunched up here. Down for the first 30, you just move that left leg. Three, two, let's go. Crunch it up, just the left. If you need a modification here, drop that other leg to the floor. Keep your shoulder blades off the ground. Good work. 10 seconds and we switch. Keep it crunched. Come on, lift, lift, lift. Two, one, switch legs. Let's go. Make this tougher by taking your stationary leg down and you stay here. Okay? It's tougher. <laughs> so if you're ready for it, go there. 15 more seconds. Stay crunched. We've got one more round of both of those two, okay? Two, one, great job. All right, roll it up. Let's go again, five, four, three, two, one, freeze with your high knees, low impact of course. Drive, 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 hold, okay? Two, one, let's go. Quick feet, use your arms as well. Make sure they're not here, okay? Make this a whole body move, getting your arms involved. They pull your core into the uh, mix here. Beautiful. Last 30 seconds, come on. Freeze, hold. Good, this gets us into the mindset of we're in control of our intensity today, right? 13, come on. Five, four, two, one, rest. All right, come on back down. Crunched up, single leg drops. And that'll finish out our first boot camp circuit. Whew. All right, here we go. Hands support your head, crunch up. Left leg goes first. Two, one. Good, I want you kind of looking diagonal between your legs. Think of holding an egg right between your chin and your chest. Okay, make sure you're not pulling so hard that you crash the egg. Make sure you're not looking up at the ceiling so the egg falls, it's neutral. Two, one, switch legs. Good, the crunch up with the shoulder blades helps you push your lower back down using your abs. 15 seconds, come on. Five, keep the crunch, four, three, two, one, beautiful. All right, come on up. I'm gonna get you some water here, 30 seconds rest in between our circuits. So water break. All right, you're doing great. Circuit two, here we go. Burpee and a crisscross. You're not going all the way to the ground. You're gonna step or hop back, step or hop up, crisscross. Now it's up to you if you wanna come all the way up. Okay, but you can also just go here quickly. Okay, I know some of you will take that challenge. All right, the most important thing is to remember, you keep the intensity high, okay? Whatever that looks like for you. We're going in four seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Backing up, criss and cross. There you go, modify this. Step back, step up, touch. Well, destroy your mat. Touch and touch, okay? You knew it was bound to happen at some point today, right? Body weight cardio, there's no doubt. I'm kicking my mat. If I don't fall over that mat that I kick, it's a good day for me. 
My tip here is to land wide so that when you come up, you're ready for that crisscross. Okay? You're over halfway home. Let's go. Good work. Let's go. 12, 11. Five, four, good work. Two, one, rest. Now I want you to give me arms that look like an equal sign. Just like this on the floor. You're gonna open up, plank side to side. You open, if you can lift, lift. If not, just open. Okay, then you roll right over. Two, one, let's go. And you go back to that equal sign. Okay, if you need to modify, roll over. Drop, open. Totally fine as well. I just want your core supporting the weight the whole time. And this is the easiest way I can give you the method of setting up your arms to roll right over so you're ready. Okay? 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Sometimes you'll end up feeling yourself go here backwards. For me, when that happens, I've let my abs relax. So make sure you don't lose control of the core. 10. Five, four, two, one. Beautiful. And we're back. Burpee, jump back or step back. Jump or step up crisscross your feet. Or maybe that's just a cross tap. Either way, intensity is high. We do it together. Ready? Second and final round of this one. Let's go. And if you notice, maybe first round, your left foot always went in the front. Let's switch it this time, okay? Breathe with me. You're doing great. There we go, there goes that halfway point, second half, let's go. Beautiful, come on. 15. I know these minute work periods are tough. Tough for me too, come on, eight, seven, don't let yourself quit early, five. Two, one, rest. Good job. Back to that equal sign with your forearms. Reminds me of a TikTok dance that I never fully learned where they go. I never learned it, but I remember that part. Okay, here we go. Two, one, open it up. I tried to dabble in TikTok. I haven't fully gotten it yet. Good, keep the core tight. Open to the star if you can. If not, open. Just stabilize right here. Good work. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Five, four, two, one, rest. And you've got 30 seconds rest. Grab some water. We are done with circuit number two. You're doing great. Whew. Okay, we're moving lateral here. You've got options. Lateral high knees. There's levels to this, okay? So you can give me that power march if you're looking low impact. Here, 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 okay? If you can go high knees with impact, you're right here. We just move left to right, okay? Good, give me six seconds, breathe deep. We're going for 60 seconds. Two, one, let's move. Arms and legs. Good. I want you to think about knees. Do you extend a straight line out from your hip? Your knee should hit that height right here, okay? Get there, pull your core in to do that. 
If you're back here, extended. It's hard to get your knees up. Pull here, go here. There we go. Beautiful. Last 30, let's go front to back now. Here we go. Forwards, backwards. Same thing, core is tight, arms are working. Beautiful. That's it, come on. Give me seven. Two, one, and rest. Great job. Four crunches and a straight leg extension. So come on down, give me four here. On your last one, crunch, reach, bring it back in. Ready? Three, two, one, crunch for four. Hold, reach, come back to modify that. One leg reach. Hold, push, pull back in. Good job. Halfway there, let's go. Good, keep thinking about pulling your ribs down to the floor. That's the what I think about. Pull the ribs down. Five, four. Rest, good work. All right, second and final round. Lateral, high knees for the first 30, forwards and backwards for the second 30. If you're doing low impact, you give it that power knee drive. Keep it intense, okay? Two, one, let's get it. Now you control this intensity here. I can tell you to go high knees and you can go here, or you can truly be honest with yourself and say, I can go hard and go fast. Come on, even when you think you're going fast, you probably have a little bit more. Seven seconds and we turn. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn it here, keep going. Good, quick. Feet, come on. That's it. Go, go, go. 15 seconds. Come on. Seven. Three, two, one. Rest. Four crunches and a straight leg extension. Here we go. So this is all about your control. This whole workout is basically, with it being body weight, two, one, crunch for four. Hold it up on number four, squeeze as you push and pull, then release again. Squeeze even harder as your legs go away from you. Hold, squeeze, come on, come on, come on. Last 30. Come on, muscle endurance. Let's go, let's go. 15 seconds as of right now, let's get it. Good, nine, eight, Squeeze hard as your legs go away from you. Three, two, one. 30 seconds rest. Whew. Grab some water. You're doing fantastic. Whew. All right. Whew. So far, so good? All right. We're going out now into lateral skater lunge with a touchdown. Options here again. Going over, touching with the opposite hand. 
If you can't jump yet, you touch, step. If you can jump, give me a little hop, okay? I'll give you 10 seconds, big deep breath. We've got this. Be ready for a quad burn, be ready to be out of breath, but be ready to go. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. And I would suggest, if you can start off with a hop, at least start there. Don't pace yourself and say, if I have space or energy to go hard at the end, I'll go hard then. If you go hard now, you'd be surprised how you can hang on going harder for longer than you think. Come on. You ever feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. You can look up. I'm tired too, I'm with you. Think about this. There's someone in the same zip code as you and on the other half of the world going rep for rep, rep with us right now. Okay, let's go with our team. Let's rock together. Don't let yourself down. You're not alone. 10 more seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one, breathe. Give me that left elbow. Slow and controlled here. We've got a side plank. Start here. Level two, bring your leg up and down. Level three, leg up, extend, back down. Ready? Let's go. Pick your level. Start here. If you can add, bring it here. If you can add more, bring it here. Knee to the hip level. Extend, come back in and down. There's a lot of pressure on your glutes, your hips, your external obliques, and of course your shoulder. Come on. Big open chest, big forward hips. You're almost there. Thirteen seconds. Good, stay up hips, come on, five. Don't stop yet. Three, two, one. Whew. Come on, back up. All right, here we go. Lateral skate lunges, then we go to the other side. Here we go, five seconds, breathe. Three, two, let's go. Remember, team, we're in it together. You're not alone, physically you might be. In our world, in our workouts here, you're not. Good. Back knee doesn't need to be bent. I would rather you just give me more speed side to side. We practice getting over there and stabilizing. So if you're going here and you end up falling, you're not stabilizing enough. Get there, stick. The weight is in this front leg. Good. Come on, 15 seconds. Let's go together, push. Eight seconds. Two, one, beautiful. We're going over to the right elbow. All right, double your mat up, put your towel down. Whatever you need to do. Another modification here. Hop down to your knees, that's also fine. Ready? Let's go. So the modification would be here. Bring it up, extend, and back down. Just make sure a straight line out from your hip, that's your knee, that's where it comes up. Okay? You're looking for 21 minutes on the clock. Slow and controlled. I know your shoulders are burning. They've gotta get stronger too. Twenty seconds, come on. Good, ten more seconds, come on. Nine. One more, four. Three, 
two, one, and rest. Grab some water, you've got 30 seconds. Woo. We are over halfway through the workout, just in case you didn't notice, you're doing great. This is that hard decision. Mid-workout, you're like, do I breathe? Do I get some water? Can I figure out how to do both? If you're like me, you say yes, and then you drool all down your face, so no worries. <laughs> I'm not judging. Okay, four high knees and we rotate. You've got left, forward, right. Give me four here, turn. Give me four here, turn. You just keep going here, okay? Let's go in four seconds. I'll start facing the left. Four, come here, four, go here. Let's go. Good, just keep your arms moving. Low impact, one, two, switch, one, two. Give me two power marches per side. Good work, last 30, come on. Good, you're using your core here as well. I'm sure you feel it. Ten seconds, come on. Nine. Four. Three. Two. One. Lay it down. Jack knives and we have options. Two legs together will be the toughest. If you do two legs, make sure you go up and down together. Not up here and then you flop down. Okay, the other option, one leg, opposites. Ready? Let's go. And the key to doing two legs, when you get up there, stabilize, then release together. You're doing two legs. Don't swing one leg up and have the other one join either. They go up together. I say lift the heels together. I say heels juntos. That's a little Spanish. Whereas MJ would say a little Spanglish. Heels juntos. Juntos in Spanish is together. So come on up together with your heels, not one at a time if you're doing the two leg option. Good. Four. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. And we're back, four, four, four. Whew. Breathe. You're doing great. This is circuit number five, okay? We've got eight. That's how close we are. Last round of five. Let's go. Four, four. Good, come on, come on. 16.45 is what you're looking for. You wanna check up there? If not, I'll tell you, we're over halfway there. Good, let's go, you're getting better today. Together, we are getting better. 15 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Ah, jack knives, come on back. Two feet together. You're doing two feet. Heels juntos. Can't think of the word for heels right now in Spanish. Talon, maybe? That might not be right. Heels together. You're doing two legs. Ready, let's go. You're doing one. Same thing, release at the same speed that you come up, so don't get here and plop down and plop down. Together, that's the stabilization aspect. When you get tired, your low back will wanna to start to do this. Keep it back. Good, 
Great work. 30 seconds. Four or 12, 11. Come on. One more, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Grab some water, 30 seconds rest, and we're on to circuit number six. Whew. Out of eight, that's how close we are, okay? All right, 30 seconds and 30 seconds, we split it for this one. This is a knee driver to the side, okay? You're gonna start with your hips rotated to the right, taking that left foot right here. Reach your arms, drive your knees through, okay? We'll go in eight seconds, okay? 30 seconds in, we just switch. Same thing, so 30, 30. Ready, two, one, let's go, drive. Low impact option here, high impact, you jump. Add a little hop in. Either way, I wanna lean, angle here, pull, okay? 14, 15 is when we switch sides. Good, so you got seven, six, three, two, swing it to the left, one, let's go. Perfect, come on, stabilize right here. There we go, 15. Anyone else hear the water in their stomach moving with us? Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Five, four, and rest. Great job. Whew. Side bent leg balance. Okay, come down onto your right knee. Okay, you're going here with a bent leg. Crunch, crunch. Keep the leg bent. Ready? Let's go. So you open your hips. You reach up, you pull back in, meet in front of this hip. The whole 60 is right here. Good, you've got a little bit of glute work here, definitely. Keeping that knee and ankle up high. 30 seconds, stay here. Try to keep it level, thigh parallel to the floor. 15, 10, nine, three, two, one, rest. Whew. Feeling that oblique, right? All right, come on up. We can start facing the left this time, knee driver, boom. 30 here, 30 here. Two, one, let's go. Reach and pull. If you start to get up here where your chest is tall, I want you to readjust, lean. You've got an angle here, okay? Think of this diagonal. I want you to keep that diagonal. Switching in eight, seven, Four, two, one, swing it over, let's go. Fifteen, come on, drive, drive, let's go. Come on, six, four, Three, two, one, good. Left knee to the floor. Woo. Come on down. So you're keeping this right leg bent. It just goes back and right in front of your hip. Four, three, two, let's go. Bend, keep it here. 
and do whatever you need to do here on your hand and your foot to balance. A little bit of glute action. What I want is the open and the crunch in right here. Beautiful. Over halfway, you've got 24 seconds. Keep that knee up. I just felt mine drop. Come on. Fourteen, thirteen, seven, six, three, two, one, rest. Thirty seconds rest. Circuit seven. Come on, we're right there. This is where we go into Sydney says kind of lift. Okay. So in twenty seconds we start with Four high, high knee taps, four punches. One, two, three, four, whatever style you want right here. Uppercuts, hooks, jabs, jab cross, whatever you want, four punches, four high knees, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, whatever punch you want. Four and four, that's all you gotta do. Not that's all you gotta do as if this is easy, but four, four, that's all you gotta think. <sighs> Last 30 right here. Good job, 15. Come on. Seven. Two, one. Come down to a high plank. You're gonna hear me say left arm, right arm. Left leg, right leg. Whatever I say, you lift it off the ground. Okay? I'll say left arm, you lift, and then I'll say down. That's when you put it back down, okay? So come into your plank. Right here, let's go. Just stay here. I suggest wide feet. I'll say something, you hold it up until I say down. Right leg. Down. Right arm. Down. Left arm. Keep the hips facing the floor. Down. Right leg. Down, left leg. Down, good work, come on, come on. Right hand, down, left leg, down, right leg, down, 10 more seconds, come on. Left arm, down, left leg, down, two, one, rest. Great job. We've got one more of those. Whew. Okay. Four high knees, four punches. You're doing great. Here we go. Three, two, give me four and four. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm trying to breathe, trying to count, trying to focus. I'm right here with you. Last 15, then we're done with this move. 10. Go, seven. Four, two, one. Come on down. All right. Planking again. Sydney says, 
It seems very vain when I say that. Sydney says, listen to me. Simon says, and my name happens to be Sydney, so we'll play that game. <laughs> Two, one, let's go. Same thing. Stabilize first. Left leg, let's go. Down. Left arm. Down. <sighs> Left leg. Down. Right arm. Down. Good job. 445 is what you're looking for. Left leg. Right leg. Sorry, I forgot to say down. Hopefully you put your, your leg down before you went to the other one. Down. Left hand. Right hand. Same thing, forgot to say down, sorry. <laughs> this game is a mess right now. Down. Now we're just gonna alternate. Left arm, down. Right arm, down. Left leg, down. Right leg, down. Left arm, down. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. Okay, last circuit. You've got burpee front kick, okay? Burpee. You're stepping back, stepping up, kick left, kick right. Because we have 60 seconds, we're gonna go both. Two, one, let's go. Burpee, kick left, kick right. You wanna add a little intensity, give me a hop kick. Okay, keep that going. You wanna add more intensity, get your belly to the floor. We're looking for 3.30 on the clock. Come on, 20 seconds left, let's go. Good, 13, 12. There you go, four, three, two, one. Come down to a plank, and I want you to put your water bottle or a towel or the remote, something arm's length away. Okay, you're coming in a plank, just left arm, right arm. You'll hear me say left arm, right arm. Okay, let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Left arm, right arm, right arm, left, 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 right. Stabilize. Now bring your feet in together for me. Left arm. Notice your hips shift. Stop that as much as you can. Right arm. Left. Right. Good job. Left. Spread your feet back out. Let's just go left, right for 15 seconds. Here we go. Left, right, left, right. Pull your belly button in, left. Right, 10, nine, eight, seven. Right after this, you go right into your burpee kick in three, two, no rest, one, let's go. Last round of both. Come on, we don't stop for two minutes, starting about 15 seconds ago, okay? You get to 115, you go right into your plank taps. Come on, come on. Woo! Let's finish this thing strong. Last half. How can you step it up? Show me, show yourself. Totally fine if you're spinning and tripping and feel like you're out of control. Stay safe, but go hard, come on. 15. I'm with you. I'm not gonna leave you, come on, come on, come on. Seven, six, one more burpee, then get down into a plank. Three, two, one, no rest, go. Left arm, right arm, this is it. One minute. Left arm, right arm, right arm. Breathe, left arm. 
right. Breathe, left. Right. Okay, 15 seconds to go. We're going left, right, left, right, non-stop. Three, two, one, let's go. Right, left, right. Go, go. You wanna make it tougher, bring your feet together. Do not move your hips. Three, two, one, drop to your hands and knees. Push your weight back over your heels. You have made it to your cool down. And I gave you a little bit more rest in that workout, so I know the time's about to roll out. If you can give me two minutes of your time, I'll stretch you out. Pull your hips up and forward, drop your hips, lift your chin. Very, very proud of you today. Way to show up. Come back to your hands and knees. Big deep breath. Let it out. Big deep breath. Let it out. Tuck your toes down, lift your knees off the ground. Stay here and drive your heels to the floor. Look up and I want you to walk halfway in. Step your left foot up right in front of your right foot. Stay here. Stretch that hamstring out. Okay, you should feel it right here. Bring both your feet together and let's switch legs. Feel it in the hamstring. Great work today. Good, bring both feet together again. Bend your knees just a little bit, roll up like a rag doll. Great work. Stay here, widen your feet out just a little bit. Hands on your tailbone, I want you to push. Come back in. One more time, give me a good push. Come back in. Shift your weight to the left hip. Lean away from it. Just feel the stretch from literally your ribs down to your knee. Mainly kind of up in your hip and glute area, but even in your oblique. So basically here to here. Shift it over. Great job. Amazing work, guys. Bring your hands out to the side. Give me a big windmill twist. Good. Now I want you to keep your arms out, hinge forward. Same thing. Twist, twist. Look up to your top hand. If you need to widen your feet out like I do, look up. If you want, if you want to just keep your hands down, that's okay too. Give me a little spinal rotation here. Three, two, one. And we have made it. I knew this was gonna happen. You ever have one of those days where you're like, I know my hair is not gonna hold, but we're gonna go with it anyways. Point of the workout being work your hardest. If you did that today, no matter what it looked like, no matter if you kicked your mat across the floor, you kicked your water bottle over, you tripped, you're spitting, you're falling, you have to modify, it does not matter. There are no stipulations to a good workout except for effort. Effort, you're working your hardest, that is a good workout. You're staying safe and working your hardest, that is a good workout. There's no expectation here to be perfect, to never modify, to always nail every single move that requires upper body and lower body and abs all at the same time. It's not about that today. Today, cardio and abs, it's about working your hardest. Intensity in the cardio. We work on endurance here today with cardio respiratory endurance. We work on endurance today with our abs and muscular endurance. And we work on stabilization as we do things with one foot, different planes of motion, side to side, as we work on one side of your core at a time. The whole workout was very intentional and if you worked your hardest, you got everything you needed to out of this workout. Modification or not, I'm very proud of you. It was not an easy workout, okay? Everything on my body right now is just dripping sweat and I can promise I worked my hardest because I wanna show you, this is my workout too. I don't do anything else. I get that question a lot. I don't do any other workouts. Like I don't go here and film for you guys and then go to the gym and do my workout. This is my workout. I'm working out with you. I'm training you and this is my workout time as well. So I truly put everything I have into my workouts because I wanna get the most out of them too. Okay, so if you're working your hardest and you can say for sure each day, you show up no matter how you feel, 
It doesn't have to be high energy, it doesn't have to be fully motivated, but you show up and in that energy with what you've got to work with today, you worked your hardest, that's it, you did it. Mission accomplished. So if you're feeling any type of negative way right now, I want you to not feel that way. I want you to drop that negative curtain that you've pulled over yourself if you had to modify. Move the curtain out of the way and just say, you know what, I'm proud. I'm proud of myself. Go ahead and say it with me, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of myself, I did it, okay? Positive, I want you to leave here feeling positive and strong, okay? You worked hard, go out into the world with this energy and say, I am capable of so much more than I've already done and I'm ready to accept that challenge, okay? I'm ready to see it, I'm ready to hear what you guys are moving into. What are you stepping into? Confidence that you've gained in your workout has forced you into the world to say, you know what, I am strong, okay? I wanna see it, I wanna hear it, I want you to be a good person outside of just these workouts. That's my wholehearted mission for you, okay? So take what you learn in the workouts. What do you tell yourself in the tough times? What do you say when it's really, really tough and it's really burning and you're getting sweat into your eye? What do you say in those moments? Use that in life, okay? Fitness, sport, athletics, exercise, training, whatever you wanna call it, you're training your mind as well as your body to move into the world and say, I am stronger than I give myself credit for, okay? So I want you to use that. I want you to go into this week, not doubt yourself, not say, what's gonna happen if I fail? You don't think about that in your workout, right? You don't go into high knees and say, oh, what if I get tired? You just do it, right? You do it and you work hard. I want you to do the same thing in life. Learn from it. If you fail, you get rejected. It doesn't mean the end of the world. It doesn't mean I'll never try again. That's the end of my tries. It just means I learn, I regroup, I get better prepared and I go at it again. Okay, if you have to modify in life, it's fine. You just keep going, you just keep trying. Okay, believe in yourself. I believe in you. <sighs> All right, guys, I love you. Remember that, love yourself, believe in yourself, and you're stronger than you think you are. You just gotta put it to the test. Okay, make sure before you head out today, you have given the video a thumbs up if you finished it, and you've subscribed to the channel. It means so much to us to just help this group, this community keep growing. All we want is for everyone all over the world, no matter what, to have access to free workouts every single day with a trainer that's gonna show up for them regardless, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have an awesome day.